guys, so here's a sneak peek at the new proof of our Science and Astronomy for the Grammar Sage, so the teacher's guide. Um, the newest thing in here is this new quick start guide that tells you kind of in a nutshell what the program is all about. And then we got a table of contents as usual, and then we've got this visual peek inside so you can see exactly where the things are on your teacher's guide page so you know what you're looking at. And then it also kind of gives you a peek inside the student materials in the teacher's guide so you know that all of the topics that we're going to cover. Um, the solar system and the stars and space unit have remained the same, but the Earth science units are completely redesigned. So a little bit about the introduction, about what it is, but we'll quick flip through that, get you to the heart of the program, which is the lessons. So same as we've had from the beginning, you've got a two day and a five day a week schedule, but these are broken into read, do, and write. So you guys know about the three keys to teaching science that we talk about all the time. So now we've separated your lesson plans into those three keys. And then your uh, the plan, the details of what you're doing each week are also divided into those sections. So you've got the read first and then the do. And this is the absolutely fantastic thing about the third edition is now your experiments are included. So no more James Van Cleef books. Uh, your experiments are included in here with a scripted introduction and then they will also have either questions or a scripted explanation for you to use with your students in there. You're still going to have those uh, projects, the extra projects, and then your write section will have a notebook, it'll have the lap booking options, your vocabulary, and then if you want to do, we've got a weekly review sheet. So no more quizzes, now they are review sheets so you see each week follows this pattern and you'll have that sort of scripted explanation looks like so now your teacher's guide is even easier to use than it was before and then of course we've got the appendix uh, with all the templates and the glossary and then a list of the additional optional library books is all the way at the back now so that's what the teacher guides looks like and here's what the new student workbook looks like. So the student workbooks are very similar to the setup before. Um, the biggest change here is that we've got a quick start welcome for your students and it's written in this new uh, font that's a little bit easier for the kids for emerging readers to read rather than the font we had in before. So you still got your table of contents. You've got a peek inside. Again, this is written to the students so they can know what they're supposed to be doing with, with each of the sheets that's in the student workbook. And then, just like before, you have the unit project sheets, and then we have the same that notebooking page, and then you have the page for the demonstration. So it'll follow the same format through there. And then in the back, you've got uh, their glossary with little pictures that they can fill in, and you've got the memory worksheets, and then all those review sheets are at the back of the student workbook. So that's a little peek inside what the new third edition of our Science and Astronomy for Grammar Stage looks like. Uh, we got two different colored guides, so the teacher's guide's a little bit lighter in tone, so it's easier to tell the difference between the two. So hope you like what you see.